Hello everyone. I'm Ayana, a VTuber. Today, I'll explain how to create animation with Shape Key. Let's begin. Let's start. Shape Key is a function to memorize the shape of the mesh object. Position information of vertices, sides, and faces. Use this when you want to transform an object with animation. First, change the cube to pyramid. Expand the timeline window for easy viewing. First, click Object Data Properties. Click the plus button on the shape key twice to display base in key 1. After clicking key 1, make sure the object is selected and change the screen to edit mode from the drop down in the top left. If you change it, the entire object will turn orange. To select only the top face of an object, click on Vertex, then hold down Ctrl on your keyboard and click the remaining three vertices. With the top side selected, press S on your keyboard to confirm that the mouse pointer has changed to an arrow. Then press 0 on the numpad and press Enter. The cube will be changed to pyramid like this. Next, set keyframes for frame 1 and frame 30. Make sure the shape key is key 1 and the keyframe is 1. Hover your mouse pointer over the value item. Right-click and click Insert Keyframe. Next, after changing the frame to 30, change the value of key 1 from 0 to 1. Then, insert the keyframe in the same way. When you actually move it, you can see that the cube has changed the pyramid. Next, let's try to change the cube to a sphere. It's the same as before until you change the screen to edit mode. After you've added a shape key, hover your mouse pointer over the object, press Ctrl plus E on your keyboard, and then click Subdivide. Then the object is subdivided. To further subdivide, click Subdivision at the bottom left of the screen and change the number of cuts to 8. Once you split it, press Alt plus Shift plus S on your keyboard. Make sure the mouse pointer changes to an arrow and then move the mouse to the right until the object becomes a sphere. When it becomes a sphere completely, you can click it in the edit screen. We'll also animate it by setting the keyframe. When you actually move it, you can see that the cube has changed to a sphere. To combine movement, create base, key 1 and key 2 in object data properties in advance. Set the shape of the object to shape key 1 and key 2. Next, set keyframes for frame 1, frame 30, and frame 60. At frame 1, right-click on key 1, key 2, and choose Insert Keyframe. Go to frame 30, change the value of key 1 from 0 to 1, then right-click and choose Insert Keyframe. Keep the key 2 value 0. Move to frame 60. Change the value of key 1 from 1 to 0. Then right-click and choose Insert Keyframe. Continue to change the value of key 2 from 0 to 1, then right-click and choose Insert Keyframe. Then press the space key to see the animation we've created. When all the movements are combined, the animation looks like this. This is the end of the explanation on animation using shape keys. How is everyone doing? Did you understand today's lecture? If you found today's lecture useful, please subscribe. If you have any requests, please let us know in the comments below. See you again in the next lecture. See you soon. Bye.